what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to make uh, how to spawn in as a custom character in roblox studio so here in the toolbox we already have a custom character soldier by roblox so for this example we'll just do a soldier right here um so what you want to do is you want to go in the assets and see uh, delete the animation configuration all of these module folders delete these um do not delete this you can if you want to if you just want a blocking mesh um but for me right now this one pre looks pretty good so i'm going to just um stick with that so uh delete the gun here gun storage uh delete the eight uh what was it the anim saves and delete the script so now you have this we actually have to go to the soldier and we have to go to the primary part and select a uh, humanoid root part and now let's call this starter character and put it in the starter player this one was just an example from before so as you can see we have starter uh, character which will now be our starter character so now let's spawn in and see if our character is um you know the custom character that we chose or you chose and yes it worked so as you can see we have this it worked and you know we can walk like this for some weird reason it the walking animation is a bit weird um i don't know why i don't know why that is but um basically now if we delete this let's say you want to add your own custom character easily well you can by getting this plugin called moon animator which has file explorer and character inserter and easy weld so i will link in the description the um, moon animator plugin um that comes with these three uh, uh objects or plugin tools that you can use so we, uh so when once you've gotten the moon animator um go to the character inserter so yeah uh so insert blank old r15 rig so as you can see we have this blank r15 rig right here so now that we have this we can we if we go to the directory we, we can see that we have this uh, all of this thing that we need uh so now let's just let's just call this one you know um starter character starter character and put it in the starter player again um and now let's play the game as our own starter character which is just a dummy yep it worked but as you can see we have this problem where it's just floating in the sky and we can't really um you can't really walk it does all the same animations but we can't walk or anything so now we have to fix that well that's easy so go back and put the starter character in the workspace go to its um from the humanoid uh you know select it from the drop down list go from humanoid hold down shift on the selected object and go to humanoid root part from humanoid to humanoid root part which is the last one um so as you can see we have a lot of stuff here so if we go anchored you can see that we have this gray um checker box thingy click it and it now is unchecked Ch check it and then uncheck it again so that it works now we can put this into the starter player again there we go um and now let's play it again and we should spawn down on the floor and drop onto the floor 
um, instead of being in the sky and not working. And yes, we have. So as you can see, guys, we have ha we have this um, character right here. You can actually add uh, other people's characters as well, s such as if we just delete this. Um, you can add like if you if you just type in custom character and find a character. My favorite one uh, is this one R6 custom character. As you can see it has the same starter character thingy so uh, delete the readme script if there's in it if you want to choose this one uh, delete the readme uh, ungroup this so that it just says starter character and um, as you can see we have all of the things selected uh, so now we can actually put this in the starter player there we go and run the game now and we will look like an R6 custom character. Um, this is good for like village games. If you know you're in the village and you just want to spawn in as a uh, R6 custom character, uh, then you can. Um, so here we go. Now we are an R6. So there we go. We can zoom in as far as we can. And we are still the r6 character right here so yeah this is a pretty cool cool uh, custom character that you can use here um so yeah so basically this is it this is all of the um scripts this is well there's no scripts even needed this is just adding a custom character calling it starter character and putting it in the starter player so that you can actually be that custom character so yeah i hope you guys like this video and i will see you all next time goodbye <laughs>